Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with me, Get Daved. So I've landed near the House on the Velt, and we're teaching Mog some dances. That's done by fighting in various areas. If you do magic, it's okay, but if you make Mog dance, he won't learn a dance. Okay, so if you want to learn to dance, don't dance. Just like in real life, lack of practice leads to better dancing. So... We fought on the grasslands just now, an area where he had never fought before. And if we go take a look at skills, he will have learned Wind Song, which is the dance for the grasslands. He's also learned the Cave Dance, which is Desk Requiem, because at the very beginning of the game we had him in our party helping Locke protect Terra. And uh, he fought there, so we learned the Desk Requiem Dance. The big catch is... At this point in the game, and when we had the airship earlier, that's the only time you can learn the water dance. It's missable after this, so I recommend you do this if you're interested in, you know, doing it right. Important note about Espers, I've still got Lock on Phantom, and for good reason, and I've got Cellas equipped with Shout. Um, it doesn't have to be those two characters, but I recommend you have somebody learning, uh, or someone equipped with Shota and someone equipped with Phantom. Because we're going to want Vanish in Doom, just to give yourself the option. Uh, some of you might know where I'm going with this, and basically there's a bug in the game where if you cast Vanish on an enemy to turn them invisible, and then you use X-Zone or Doom, either of those spells, it has a virtually 100% chance of hitting the enemy. So, we're gonna need someone with Vanish and someone with Doom. Okay. So, welcome to Nikea. I promise you this is gonna make sense. I'm not going the most normal way uh, to learn the Water Rondo dance, but you just gotta trust me. Uh, if you do it at this point in the game, you can save yourself a little walking. We could have done it earlier as well. Hop aboard? We're going to sail to South Figaro now. Yeah, earlier in the game, the first time you get the airship and have free control over it, you can do this, but you'll have to walk farther. And South Figaro is also occupied by troops. That's not actually a huge problem, because they just sort of sneak you out of town. But, you know, it's not occupied now. That's kind of nice. So now we've reached South Figaro. We'll get out of here. Oh, they're back to saying the same old. I digress. Now basically we're going back to the Let River. So, we're walking. Oh good, we'll learn the forest dance here. We're walking back through the Sable Mountains, again. I'm not going to make you watch most of that, I'm just going to show you long enough so you can see me get the new dance for the mountain area. Alright, we just got the forest one, three out of eight. For the record, you can only get seven of the dances at this point in the game. At the same moment you lose the ability to get Water Rondo, you gain the ability to get Snowman Jazz. Incidentally, Snowman Jazz is my favorite type of music. Alright, we get, oh, dang it. We gotta get out of this cave area. Dang it, three fights. For real this time. I'm just gonna run around in circles here, so I actually get in a fight out here. Okay, you've seen these fights before. They were a bit harder back then. finish the fight. Alright. Mastered a new dance. The mountain dance is pretty good too. I believe it also has sun bath, so maybe it's actually better. I'm just gonna walk through the entire area now. I'm not gonna make you watch. Okay, and I got past Mount Colts. Really weird thing happened. The very last screen I got in a fight with uh, a mixed group of enemies and a vaporite. I've never had that happen before. Crazy stuff, people. 
And you know what, let's show you a dance. How it works is, if you do the dance of the area you're at, so I'm in Grass Plains, so Wind Song would be the native dance, Mog has a 100% success rate. If you do any other dance, he has a 50% success rate, and if he succeeds, the background will change. Wind Slash, average strength wind attack on all enemies. As you can see, the power is pretty good. The drawback is often the area where you're fighting the best dance is uh, not the one that matches the environment of the enemies, because a lot of time, like, you don't want to use water attacks on water enemies, for example. Alright, we've reached the returner hideout. Now we're gonna make a wrong turn. Also, I've put Sabin, I put the Golem Esper on Sabin because I want him learning stop. Again, these reasons will become apparent probably in the next video, but you definitely want someone to have the ability to stop. I've also equipped the Charm Bangle on lock. That was just to reduce the enemy encounter rate for a little while. All right, we'll just. Oh yeah, Mog's weapon is water elemental. That's gonna be a huge liability. Learned Water Rondo. So we mastered Water Rondo, everybody. Now a long, painful journey. Uh, while we're at it, might as well show you another one. Forest Sweet's not bad. Good job, Mog. Alright, I'll show you some other time. <laughs> Alright, I'm just showing you continuing on the river here, just so you can notice that we took the path Sabin did, which is shortcutted us, or well, which always takes you right to the house on the Velt, which is right around where I dropped off the airship. If you don't do this now, there isn't a way to walk to uh, Nikea, which we utilized before, and instead, from the house on the Velt, you've got to go down south through the Imperial base, past Doma, through the Phantom Forest, down the Baron Falls to the Velt, and then from the Velt you got to hop in the Serpent Trench, which will then carry you to Nikea. So the journey is about twice as long. So you know, that sucks. Uh, I forget if there's anything going on with the soldier who was injured here, so I'm just going to pop in and visit him real quick. Or I'm gonna sleep for free in the relic shop, I suppose. You know, gotta make it look like that mistake was uh, on purpose. After the exhausting trip, fighting level five enemies or level ten enemies. Ooh, you bet I can read it for you. Well, we should send some letters for him. You bet. And you know what? We're actually going to change our plan here. I'm going to run to Miranda and see what she's saying now. Because I care about their well-being. Miranda is actually not that far as the bird flies, although you can get anywhere pretty quickly in this game once you have the airship, so... Still under Imperial control here. Yay! Happy news, everybody! One thing I can really think of left to do in the world of balance, as this is commonly referred to. No spoilers intended. Um, you know what, let's try fitting it in this video. Nah, actually, I got to off screen just a little bit of level grinding because I do need a couple spells learned to show 
few different possibilities. So I know what we'll do. We'll learn the rest of Mog's dances, because that was the point of this video. <laughs> hmm. So what's outstanding here? Uh, okay, the snow one, the desert one, and the city one. So, fight on the desert. Fossil Fang, not going to be so tough now. Saman's attacks Fire Elemental, I think that'll do double damage. Good news everyone, also Saban I think has learned Stop. Golem has got times 5 on all his spells, so that's pretty good. Here's Mog Dibs to the Esper he was learning on before. Is it Zone Seek? Alright. And you can learn. If you have Mog in your party, and for plot reasons you should. For a moment later on in the game where you'll get mandatory fighting in a city but uh, you can just go to Zozo and have a quick fight and you can get him oh I forget what it's called so we'll call it dubstep love Sonata that's the dance for the city oh Hades Hades Gigas not so tough now Alright, Mog has mastered the last dance. That he can for now, anyway. And I'm gonna off screen just a little bit of grinding for magic points, so I'll see you all shortly. Alright, welcome back, everybody. So I got uh, the spells I was interested in getting, and a couple level ups while we were at it. And now, this is kind of the last thing I can think of doing in the world of balance. There's an enemy here called the Intangir. The Intangible. I don't know. Integer. There's an animal called animal called Integer. Uh, that's what we're gonna call him because I can't figure out how to pronunciate his real name. I want to fight him, and uh, I'll let you know. It's remarkably challenging. I'll let you know when I encounter him. All right, we've done it, everybody, and I'm just gonna hit the old state save here. Now, Intangir is um, starts off asleep and invisible, and whenever it falls asleep, it will be invisible, and it likes to make itself fall asleep. It also has 32,000 hit points and is very dangerous. So, the easiest way to kill it is old reliable here. And it'll hit you with this. It does that when you kill it. It's a pretty strong attack, but we get our 10 magic points. So that's one way of dispatching it, by far the easiest, and I'll show you another as soon as I encounter one. All right, and another wild intent here. So the other thing you can do is cast stop on it. Now stop wears off, but if you can successfully stop it, you can just pound on it with traditional attacks. Also, it likes to run away. Okay. Now just open the floodgates. Just go nuts. Everything you've got. It has 32,000 hit points and pretty good defense. I wonder. Oh yeah, and it absorbs every element. I forgot that detail. Berserk might not be entirely in this. Having Edgar along for the ride, not a bad idea either. Because Drill is, of course, defense piercing, as I've mentioned 8 billion times. Yeah, there we go. Do we have anyone with Berserk? If we could get Lock Berserk, we could have some pretty serious damage. Oh, stop war off, everybody. 
I put a green beret on lock so we'd have a bit more HP. So, when that happens, just keep Gom and respawn. Lather, rinse, repeat. But seriously, have full HP. Yep, 32,000 hit points. Now there's one other way that uh, you can try killing this thing, and that is um, raw, unadulterated power. And it, it's possible to do, but it is by far the least optimal way to do it. It's got high D. None of your spells will work, so you really do need a specialized strategy to have any real progress. Oh. Happening closer together now. Good news is, yeah. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to recover. Uh, also worth noting, Mog can sometimes kill it with Snare, but uh, I wouldn't really recommend that strategy because you don't get credit for the kill in the same way. Like you don't get any magic points, so. I think I've got Mantra. Good. We'll heal everybody up. Yeah, this is going to be a grind fest. And let's see how well we're doing here. Oh, he, he mad now. Oh, we got him halfway. He also likes to run away when he's almost dead. You guys want to see the legitimate way of beating him? Oh goodness, this is it. I really wish I had Cure 2 on Celis, because she can't do any damage with her weapon. I suppose it's not too late for me to change them, but... And I'm... Oh, goodness. I'm going to off-screen finishing this up because, really, I think you've got the gist of it. Well, everybody, it ran away. I'll show you what happening. Because I got it too low on HP and it wasn't stopped. But the good news is you still get the reward, so... One of many bizarre things about the fight. So there's that. And once you've taken care of the Intangir... Um, that's really all I can think of. Meteos are great moves, and if you kill it, it will show up on the Velt, so you can have Gal learn that ability, so that's cool. Um, and with that, I think we're done stuff we can do right now, and so in the next video, we're going to go try finding the floating continent, and I'll see you there. Alright, that was actually a lie, everybody. There is one more Intangir-related thing we can do, and I forget if it has to be visible for this to work. Uh, tough to tell. I'm going to stop it just to be safe. This is going to get complicated. If Realm sketches it, it will... using a lore that Strago can learn. Charming looking thing. Stepmine. Of course, that's not the only way to learn this lore, so no big deal. Um, you can also get it by using Noise Blaster on the Grease Monkeys, which are really common enemies just outside South Figaro. But that's like the only other thing I can think of. And yes, I am just waiting for it to turn invisible now. So, um, as long as we don't run away, Strago will learn the lore. I don't know if he's gonna get unstopped. This is getting awkward, you know? There we go! Yeah, all of his commands are triggered based on reactions, including when you kill him, so... Yeah, I had a feeling Realm wasn't gonna make it. Well, somebody with life, bring her back, and then... We make him pay for his mistake. And if you want to gain magic really quickly, here is not a bad place to grind. Once you've got the Doom spell, then you can actually do it quickly. 
done it quickly. What was I thinking? Oh, good. <laughs> Give yourself 20 points if you saw that coming. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see you in the next video, everybody. <laughs>